Hi everyone, I'm Sean. In this video series, I'm going to show you how to get up and running with the BBC Microbit. We'll start off with some basic examples like pushing buttons, blinking lights, before moving on to more advanced things like reading sensors and wireless communication. If you haven't seen or even heard of the Microbit, it's a microcontroller platform designed by the BBC to be given to every Year 7 student in the United Kingdom. Hold on. What's a microcontroller? It's best to think of a microcontroller as a computer that's been shrunk down to a single chip. The thing is, is they're much less powerful than even, say, your laptop, and they're generally only good at running one thing at a time, unlike your computer where you may have 12 different applications open or running 100 different processes. Additionally, they're great at controlling and sensing electrical signals through their pins. This means moving electrons to do things like light up LEDs and read voltage levels to determine if you've pushed a button. That's cute and all, but it doesn't even play Minecraft. Why should I care about microcontrollers? Well, they're small, they consume way less power than a full-size computer, and they're great at talking to other electronics. These things are everywhere. For example, your digital watch, this mouse, the interface on your microwave oven, gas pumps, these are all things that are controlled by microcontrollers. Knowing how to program one and build with it lets you do some really cool things. For example, make your next costume do some crazy light patterns, automate a greenhouse, create a handheld video game system, and of course build robots. To get started, let's take the micro bit out of the bag and have a closer look. On the front, you'll see a 5x5 grid of LEDs and two buttons. Flip the board over and you'll see the microcontroller right here. Everything else on the board, known as a printed circuit board or PCB, is supporting electronics. You'll find a compass, this will help us find north, and an accelerometer. This will let us know which way is down, or if the board's been jostled. At the top, you'll find a USB port so that we can send the program from our computer to the microcontroller, a reset button that we can push to restart our program that's running on the micro bit, and a port to plug in batteries, that way we can make the micro bit a little more portable. You'll need a micro USB cable for this next part if your kit did not come with one. Plug the small end of the USB cable into the top of the micro bit, and the other end into your computer. The micro bit will boot up and scroll hello across the screen. Feel free to play the little demo games that follow. To customize the micro bit, we're going to be writing some code on our computer. This will then be sent over the USB cable and then stored on our micro bit. When we reset it, it will start running our program. There are a number of ways to program the micro bit, but we'll be using MicroPython. This is a subset of the Python programming language that was designed to work on microcontrollers. Python's already a very popular language, and it's a great introduction to text based programming. Now that we have our microbit plugged in, open up a browser and navigate to microbit.co.uk slash app. If you're asked about storing cookies, click continue. Then click create code and select MicroPython. You'll see some initial code. We could use it, but it's much more fun to create our own. Highlight everything and delete it. In the first line, write from microbit import star or asterisk. This says that we want to use all the objects and functions available in the microbit library, which will allow us to do things like control the LED display, read the compass, and so on. Hit enter twice. This will create a blank line. The interpreter, or the thing that translates our MicroPython code to something the microcontroller understands, ignores blank lines. In the next line, write while true colon. Notice the capital T for true. This is important as true is a keyword in Python. It's special to the language meaning yes or the opposite of false. While is another keyword that starts a loop. Go to a new line and you'll notice it's already been indented. Type display.scroll, open parentheses, open quotes, hello, exclamation point, close quotes, close parentheses. In this program, everything that is indented under the while true statement belongs to the loop. The program will execute the display scroll command, and once it's finished, it will execute it again and again and again forever. Display is an object that refers to the LED array on the micro bit. Calling methods within display allows us to control LEDs. We are calling the scroll method, which scrolls text across the display. We'll use the phrase hello. Notice that we enclose the phrase in quotation marks. This creates a string object out of our text, and the scroll method needs that string so it knows what to put on the LED array. Let's review our seemingly simple program. In Python, execution always starts at the top. 
The first line is read by the interpreter. It says to import objects and functions from the microbit library. The interpreter then executes the next line. Since that one's blank, it's skipped. Then we see a loop. Since we said to execute while true, this loop runs forever. In the loop, we scroll hello across the LED display. Since it's indented under the loop, it's part of the loop. The micro bit will just scroll the phrase hello over and over and over again. Now that we're done writing code, let's actually run our program on the micro bit. At the top of the page, click download. This will download a hex file containing the MicroPython interpreter and our code. Go to your downloads folder and copy the hex file. If your micro bit is plugged in, you should see a micro bit drive. Click on it to explore the contents of the micro bit. Paste the hex file into the top level directory of the micro bit drive. And that's it. The micro bit should restart itself once you have pasted the file in. Note that these instructions should work for the popular operating systems. I showed you Windows, but the steps are the same for OS X, Linux, and Chromebook. Just plug in the micro bit, download the hex file, and copy it to the micro bit drive. If you take a look at your micro bit, it should be scrolling the string hello with an exclamation mark across the LED array. It's pretty easy to get started with the micro bit out of the box with only a few lines of code. See if you can take it a step further, make it scroll your name. I've included a link to the answer in the description below. Okay, well, that's how to scroll my name. We'll explore other fun features of the micro bit on the next episode. Thanks for watching.